today we're going to be making graham cracker apple pie and I'm so excited it's my first time so work with me here as we learn together <laughs> okay first things first I'm going to slice this apple up I'm not a pro at this so just love me or whatever or don't take off the sticker I know how to do that <laughs> slice up this bad boy you know some people take off the skin uh I guess I should do that First, let's cut this. Woo. Okay. Then, <laughs> keep it going. Bringing it around town like SpongeBob would. Yeah. This is easy. This is looking good. Okay. Here's the core. Solid to the core. Gotta be. Now, oh my gosh, it tastes good. It smell good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh crap, I bit into the, oh, all right. I'm making this pie specifically for me, so I can do what I want with it. <laughs> now, take the skin off this thing, a little slight, a little bit of pie, as least as possible. My cat's over there trying to eat skin peels like they really like fruit. If they do, good for them, okay. This is my attempt at being a professional with this. I'm gonna eat all the skin, by the way, because I'm hungry. It's Christmas and it's healthy. Mm. Good stuff. Ah! You like apple? This cat's nuts. Oh. This is the best apple ever. Honey crisp. Honey crisp apple does the trick. I kid you not. Okay. I'm gonna do this a little bit more smooth. I hope. All right, it's looking good so far. I'm here for this, 100%. Now I'm getting my professional vibe going on. Please don't judge me, and I won't judge you. Cause it can get ugly before it gets beautiful. Uh. Delicious. Y'all gotta tell Chris Brown, tell his chef to make my recipe. Yep. That's the one. That's me assuming that he doesn't cook. He might cook. Anyway. Almost done. Slicing these up. Getting them ready so that I can get these apples prepped. And it's going to be fun. This is why I love to cook because I get snacks in the process. Mm. Almost done. Yum. This is that patient me. Hopefully I don't cut too many, cut too low, be down, you know. So I want all them apples. I also have two cans of fried apples with cinnamon let's see the brand here sweet harvest Ooh, okay sweet harvest i'm here for that 100 percent okay let them know buddy we are almost done peeling and we get to get to the fun stuff if you have a potato peeler you can use that i'm sure it's a little bit safer especially if you're new in the kitchen and you just may be clumsy, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. I cut a little deep on that one, but it's all good. More snacks. Okay. 
We're gonna throw away this skin here. I don't need it. I had enough snacks. Now I'm gonna set this to the side for a second because we wanna make our crumble because we already got the crust here. If you're a professional, you can make this from scratch. This being my first time, I just wanted to keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> just wanted to keep it simple. So yeah, I'm gonna make the crumble though, the graham cracker crumble to go on top. I can handle that. Okay, so we're back. If you guys can see this here, I have our crumble recipe written here, very sexily in blue pen. And I have a lint roller to kind of hold it up so that I can look at it. Innovation at its finest. So I have graham crackers here. You really only need graham crackers or graham cracker crumbs if you're making the crust from scratch. But because I already have the crust, I'm just gonna incorporate some graham cracker crumbs into my crumble, okay? So I'm gonna have to crush some of this up. Probably just a couple of them. I don't want it to like take over, but we'll just do a couple of that. So what you're gonna need for your crumble is a total of eight tablespoons of butter. Four of it is going to be cold and four of it you're gonna brown so i usually just cut it right in half usually <laughs> this this is my first time making this but when i making when i need butter i usually just cut it cut it like i need it separates it very easily so we're gonna get this butter browned we got our nice pot here warming up shall i say pan our nice pan here warming up got fresh clean hands so we are excited saving this for last we're gonna put everything else in here first so we need one and one fourth so one fourth cup we got the one half cup so we'll just do this and then we got the one cup oh found it one fourth one one fourth cup of flour make sure it's not wet our giant bowl here Yay! This will be fun. So, one cup here. There we go. One cup. Set that to the side. One fourth cup. Got some falling over the side, so there's that. Then we want half a cup of brown sugar. So, because we're health freaks, if you can't tell, because we're making apple pie and a whole bunch of other fattening stuff. We have light brown sugar. Honestly, it's just all that was here. So we need half a cup. So we can do one fourth times two. Do the math. That equals a half, I think. Right? Yay. You guys, I'm having a lot of fun, actually. The thing that I like about the holidays now the most is just cooking. So it's super fun to me. Yay. All right, got our half a cup of brown sugar in there. We are living our best life. And we just need a teaspoon. I'm thinking a tablespoon. Shh, don't tell me that. That's the problem. I don't follow the rules or recipes. It's like, no. Yes, I do. But seriously, it's cinnamon. Like, what is it going to hurt? Okay. We'll do a tablespoon. <laughs> Oh yeah, yum. That wasn't that much. We'll keep that out because we're gonna need it. All right. Good stuff. Let's get our hands dirty now. Okay, anything else? No, 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 no. We wanna mix this up first, get this all sexy. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells good, but it's just like, it's giving me life. Like, seriously, I'm obsessed already. And we just started. I'm be honest i'm really not used to my hand like i'm like a neat freak like ocd is real so like even though my hands are clean like getting this underneath my nails is a little bit cringe but i'm gonna live because it's gonna taste so good yeah now we want to take the cold butter first add that in there and we just want to cut it up into little like smaller pieces oops you're not getting in there smaller little pieces here without cutting ourselves. <laughs> Seriously. Please don't do it like this. If you're at home watching this, use a cutting board. 
cut it into some little sections. Do what works best for you, okay? Awesome. Okay, <laughs> now we're just gonna chill. Start ripping it apart with our hands, taking little bits. There we go, simple. I like simple. Four tablespoons, did that, boom. Let's get this all ingrained. We want it to be buttery. We want it to have a certain texture that it clumps up. That's what that's all about. Let's keep getting that spread all around. Honestly, a wider bowl would be better. This bowl is so tall that it's like it's forcing me to get in there, which it's not a problem to get in there, but you know, it's just you want to get every nook and cranny of the flour covered in cold butter. So I just having to really reach to do that, as you can see, clumping up in there, clumping up in there, but it smells so good. I'm crying. This is life. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I was like, that would have been ghetto. All right, so we're getting that around there. Butter spread around nice and well. Different clumps all around. I'm loving this. Just so you guys know. All right, our butter is pretty melted. So we want to go ahead and incorporate that. I don't care if it's messy or not. I'm a boss bitch. Oh, oh. It's a little hot. I don't know if it was the smartest idea to just go for it, but I guess so, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at this texture. It's getting so, like, crumbly and ready to be put on top. And we're going to let this, you know, harden up a little bit in the fridge for about 30 minutes or so while we prepare our apples and get our filling ready, but this is just gonna be the best topping ever. So they say. Good stuff. Crumble. You literally have to be kidding me. So I added one graham cracker and I crumbled it up and the flavor is like tzai. It's so good. Probably tastes better than it looks. Anyways, we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and start making our apples. Season. So the next step is to wrap this bad boy up. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> anyway, wrap it up. Put it in the fridge, about 30 minutes, let it set. Good stuff? Good stuff! Now, on to our apples. I wanna cut these up into smaller pieces. Clean my area up a little bit. So we'll need it later. Don't need a pin anymore. Started a can opening, fried apples. Oh, looks so yum. Smells good, OMG. I might save some of that liquid in there, but majority of it, I'm going to put it down the drain. Sounds unfortunate. And such a waste for such great flavors, actually. Anyway, got these can opened. God is so good, because this can opener has not been working, but on Christmas day, he said, I got your back. <laughs> okay. So we want to cut these up into pieces like this, I'd say, like, you know, something like this, little slices or whatever. So I wanted to do a, a mixture of the original apples mixed with the fried apples. So I think it's going to make this really next level. Initially, I had got four cans of the fried apples just to be quick and convenient, but I managed to find one honey crisp apple and I said, let's just combine them. Like, come on. This will be awesome. This will be great. And this apple is just so sweet. It's so sweet. I love Honeycrisp apples. 
good enough there. This is gonna be amazing. This might be the best part of my Christmas dinner. I got some beef pot roast cooking and I just finished up the, on the gravy. I'll be making some homemade mac and cheese here in a minute, but I wanted to prep up the pie and get things started here. Um, and then I'm also gonna make some cornbread. So blessed and highly favored, grateful. Mm. So we got some leftover brown butter in here. No biggie. We're gonna get this going. All right, so we went ahead and changed out our menu here, <laughs> our ingredients for the apples. So we're gonna need one fourth cup of brown sugar. First of all, let's go ahead and put these lovely apples. You guys can't see them. There we go. Let's go ahead and put these lovely apples in here in this pan. Like I said, we got some leftover butter from our crumble. I just love the sizzle. It gives me life. Perfect. I'm gonna leave the fried apples. I'm just gonna add those to when I bake them because they're already, you know, soft and mm, yummy. So I don't have to do much to those. Um, one fourth cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna add all this to the pan here. This is gonna be so good, I can't. See, I got my noodles boiling in the back. We're getting our mac and cheese ready. One fourth cup of brown sugar. Literally can't beat it. We need one and a half cups of flour. Well, I'm gonna do a little bit less than what's listed on here because the recipe that I got was for three apples. Actually, we're gonna basically be adding three apples because of those two. So, it'll be fine. Do about one cup of sugar. I don't think you need to overdo it on the sh on the flour. I'm mean, sorry. One cup of flour for me is what I'm doing. One cup of flour. Um, it says one tablespoon of vanilla, but I don't have vanilla extract, so I'm gonna improvise like I do best. Ugh. We're gonna use some syrup. It says a tablespoon, right? No problemo. Yum, what's a yum, yum, yum. Always edit things and add a little more, a little less based on, but you get the story. Okay, that's good there. You need a teaspoon of cinnamon again. Here for this. Good stuff. Cinnamon. So we need one teaspoon of unsalted butter. I don't quite have unsalted. It's a little salted, but it's also like a sweet cream butter. So it'll work. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. Um, yeah. So it says one teaspoon. So we'll do half of a tablespoon and call it a day. We need a little more butter. We'll decide that later. Add the butter to our apples. Make sure there's no more paper on there. <laughs> All right. Got the flour. And then we need two teaspoons of lemon juice. I did get some yesterday. Just for this. Oh, this is where a husband would really come in well. But I got this. Anyways, I think I don't I don't think I need to really do all that. <laughs> there we go. Simple enough. Um, yeah. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. So this is gonna just harden, I mean, this is gonna soften the apples a little bit. It's gonna soften them up because the fried apples are already there, but these apples are fresh and crisp and we want to add some life to them. It's looking good so far. Just need to let this cook up, but it's basically like making the fried apples from scratch. But we already have some too, which is awesome. So this is going to be really good. And I'm super excited. I'm going to give you guys a close up. Give you guys a close up on this. There we go. Now y'all can see what's going on over here. You feel me? Maybe a deeper pot would be better. 
but it's all right once it all cooks up and melts it'll have the same purpose so get some flash 15 more minutes on our um, crumble in the refrigerator it's hardening up getting crumbly <laughs> so I figure why not get our pie prepped take out the crust and get things moving along this is exciting my question is should I leave it in this container because I had well I have like a little baker thing but this is more like for a cake to be honest so I don't know I'm thinking I should just keep it in there and but if that can fit in here, that'd be even better, honestly. Pop that into place. You can bake a nice cake. I don't know. I don't want it to break up and everything, but I think if I take off the aluminum, it'll fit. Um, it's so little and cute in there. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. I mean, it fits just like that. We'll probably do it like that, but I don't want it to like, nah, I'm just gonna cook it in here. Why not? I mean, it's aluminum, it works. I'm just gonna cook it just like this. Straight contact with the heat <laughs> in the oven. And all I gotta do is add my filling and put some topping on there. We are good, we got whipped cream. We're good to go. So I don't need this. We'll be all set and ready to go. that give y'all a little close-up working it's doing this thing over here it's working it's working I have a lot of filling you know like even with the fried apples I don't know if it's gonna all fit I mean it'll pop over the top maybe which I'm not I don't have a problem with the more apples the better I'd say so let's just get this bad boy going it's looking great it's gonna be cooking in the oven for about 45 minutes so I just wanted to soften it up a little bit which I think we've done. I think we could add some fried apples now. Let that cook for about two more minutes or so. And then we'll start to fill up our, our pie. Filling is looking pretty darn good, guys. Yum. Rinse off, clean up. My mom always taught me clean as you go. Clean as you go, baby. That way you'll have much less to worry about later. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is trash and it's in the way. You see the eagles? You see them? There's so many. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, it's bubbling up over here. I think we got ready to add add everything in there it's looking real good you know like growing up and you think like oh my gosh like wow like apple pie is such a miracle to make that <laughs> and you get older and you're like wow i could have been making this <laughs> but it's just so it just gives you that nostalgic feeling and i'm a big foodie so gotta love it okay we're about ready. I don't want them to get mushy. I just wanted to cook them up, you know, about five to 10 minutes, depending on your preference. Delicious. Like I literally. And I want to spread this out evenly, like a little bit at a time so that you can get an even amount of original apples and fried apples all throughout the pie. 
You want to fill it up? Oh, that escalated quickly. Let's set this down really quickly so we can spread this out. Oh, it's going to be so good. Like, I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to be funny. It's going to be so full, like full of apples. Like, oh, it's not going to be a bite that you get. <laughs> that isn't full of apples. I like that. I like stuff full. Oh, yeah. This is next level right here. Woo, child, let me tell you about my best friend, food. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. Yummy. Ooh, amazing. Okay, so even though we already have some crumble, some graham cracker um, in our crumble, I just wanted to put some right on top of the surface just to really solidify that graham cracker flavor. It's going to be next level. Perfect. Just in time. 40 seconds. Our crumble is ready to go. Alrighty. So we got our crumble up out of there. Looks a little hardened and ready to go. This is going to be our topping and this is going to solidify everything that we just did. This is going to really do it. Ooh, it's ready. It's like it really did get hardened and stuff. I see why you put it in the fridge now. It makes more sense. It's like ready to go now. See that there? Perfect topping. It's like not too crummy, but it is. So it's just like going to be the perfect topping. I'm going to let this crumble it up a little bit better now real quick. And then we are going to get ready to pop this bad boy in the oven. We're going to cook it for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on... Your preference, maybe how hungry you are. <laughs> okay. Yum. Seriously, this is next level. Crumble, 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 crumble. Ugh. My mom told me to send her a picture. She's like alkaline, but she's gonna love this. She's gonna be vicariously living through me because this is next level right here. Right here, that right there. Get down, cat. <gasps> Works every time, like a charm. So right now I'm just getting all the crumbs all over because it's gonna be so delicious like this. And then when it comes down to it, if we have leftovers, I'll just like pat, pat it down. I think I want to pat it down now. Pat it down, make sure I'm really making like a top to my pie. And then when I came up with this idea, I didn't think it would turn out like, like this. It's looking really good. So I'm super stoked. That's how you know I'm happy because I never <laughs> use that word. I'm super stoked. Let's elevate the vocabulary, why not? Okay, this is looking so bomb. I'm talking about it so much because I can't eat it yet, so bear with me. Once it's done, I won't be talking very much. <laughs> I'll be eating. We all eating, fam. Okay, this is like so next level. I cannot right now. Look at that. Oh, it's coming together really well. Almost done. I don't know how many calories this is. I don't care. <laughs> Big facts. I don't care. No, no sé. I don't know. Como? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Who knew? That could be a baking lady. I didn't. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my gosh. Mom. You raised a good one. Okay. Woo. Ready to go. Anything else? Nope, we ended up using it all. I thought it was a lot at first, but now we see. Well, it looks like I'm gonna give you guys a close up and then we're gonna put this bad boy in the oven and I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Wash my hands, wash my hands. I'm so excited for the food.
food to be done. I can kick back and watch some of my favorite shows, maybe a couple Christmas movies. The last thing that I wanted to do to really sweeten the pot a little bit is add some chewy caramel. So I'm just going to drizzle some of that on the top. Look at that. Um, I think I'm going to do it once it's almost done. Um... So I'm gonna go ahead and melt this, and then when the pie is done in the oven, then I'll drizzle some caramel on top. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna put about five of these in this little glass container, and we're gonna melt them. So we can have our caramel to drizzle on top. Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Time to begin the moment of truth. So there is our apple pie, graham cracker apple crisp. Put a little bit of caramel on there. Slap some whipped cream on the top. And you're good to go. Yum. Delicious.